When winter comes to the hills of Southern California, most birds fly south in search of longer days and more food. But of those that remain, one in particular stands out for its flashy style and personality. Anna's Hummingbird. These nimble flyers love to dine on nectar from the flowers of gooseberry plants. They have to be careful when they eat. These bushes are covered in hundreds of sharp thorns. But Anna's hummingbirds are master acrobats and easily navigate around the dangerous spines to get their tasty treat. On a nearby shrub, a male preens his iridescent feathers. He has to look his best, just in case any females are watching. Of course, he'll have to do more than just look good to find a mate. He'll need to perform. Male Anna's hummingbirds are the only California hummingbirds with a real song, and they won't let you forget it. They'll sing all day just to get some attention. Luckily for our lonely friend, a female is poking around some flowers nearby. He springs into action. First, he soars straight up into the air and then nosedives at more than 60 miles per hour. Again, and again. Blink and you might miss it, but the Anna's hummingbird's characteristic chirp is unmistakable. Scientists have long debated how male Anna's hummingbirds make this loud beep during their courtship dives. Some thought the chirp vocal, like a regular bird call. But others were convinced the noise actually comes from air rushing over the bird's outspread tail feathers at the bottom of a dive. Researchers at the University of California, Berkeley, finally settled this debate with two experiments. First, they removed or altered the tail feathers from male hummingbirds and found that the birds were no longer able to chirp during their dives. Then the scientists put those tail feathers into a wind tunnel and were able to recreate the trip noise. High air speeds caused the feathers to vibrate with an audible resonant frequency, just like a reed in a clarinet. Or... You get the idea. Despite the impressive performance, the female appears uninterested. She returns to her perch high in the pine trees, it seems she already has a nest full of eggs to keep warm. The lonely bachelor will have to try again another day. Thanks for watching! Wondering where the name Anna's Hummingbird comes from? These birds were named after Anne de Belle, Princess de Essling, a French noblewoman who lived in the mid 1800s. Evidently, Anne was as charming as the bird that now bears her name. She garnered admiration from several ornithologists, including her husband, the Prince of Essling, John James Audubon, and René Primavera Lesson, who actually named the hummingbird in her honor. Though she likely never saw the bird in person, Anne's name and beauty have been immortalized in this vibrant ball of feathers and charm.